Home dealers say a particular alternative housing option has risen in popularity this year. Rhea Pinella tells us what that option is and why it's seeing such a boom in business. Some home dealers say manufactured homes like the one I'm in right now are becoming increasingly popular this year. Mike Swantko, the owner of J&M Homes in Redmond, says this is a record year for his business. He and his wife have been selling manufactured homes in Central Oregon for 20 years. Once people got used to, you know, staying at home through March and April, uh, we've had a really a rush of people coming in. Swanco says the increased popularity is due to affordability. You know, you're looking at something that, you know, averages between 60 and $80 a square foot as opposed to what you run into with a site-built home. And because a manufactured home takes less time to build than a site-built home. You know, we can generally get a home project going between uh, 90 to 120 days. He says there were some delays in construction and some supply shortages due to COVID-19. But he says Clayton, the parent company of two of J&M's factories, was prepared to handle business during the pandemic. David Brem, the owner of the Brick Kicker Inspection Services, says the real estate market this year has kept him busy. Oh, it's been wild. Again, of all these years, this is probably the busiest time I've, I've ever had. He says including himself, between his crew of three, they've been inspecting up to 100 homes a month. And he says in his nearly 20 years of work, he's never seen the supply chain for building materials disrupted like it is now. Not only manufactured homes, but homes and building materials for homes. I mean, everything, you know, the whole economy is affected. In Redmond, Rhea Panella, News Channel 21.